It's a Manchu. I'm back to the quarry. So last time, Abby and Nick got mauled by what I can only describe as a Wendigo from Until Dawn. That's probably exactly what it is. I don't know if either of them are dead. I don't know for sure. Abby looks like she was still on her feet. Not so sure about Nick. But now we have Crybaby Jacob, who apparently is about to go skinny dipping with Emma. I guess she likes her men weak and vulnerable. I don't know how you can be with a man you don't respect, but... To each their own, I suppose. The star. What? What was that? Is that an interrupt? I don't know what that was. Looking for shinies. Looking for towels. Gotta be towels around here somewhere. What was that thing about a star? Oh, it was a tarot card. Oh, bummer. I got to pick up a tarot card. Oh, it's the star. Stars. In the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. A reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity. And sometimes proof. Whatever. Great. No swimming without supervision. Rules are for nerds. Yeah, we'll see about that. Chacket and Thacket, huh? Oh, well, Chacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thacket? Oh, okay, there were children. So Chris Hackett and a brother? Sister? I can't really make it out that well. Dark back here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I'm a little surprised that we're not hearing any gunshots right now. When the, uh, what I will call the Windigos, or Windigo, was attacking Nick and Abby. I think something was shooting at it. Probably the hunters. Probably not going to find towels over here, though. Wait, what's this? <sighs> Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Huh. There's a boat there, okay. Good to know, I suppose. I mean, there's there's lots of boats over here, though. But maybe that'll be useful for something, or maybe it's a clue. Are there towels up here? No towels in the place marked towels. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Just a second. Maybe I can find something that I will substitute for towels. Hmm. What are these numbers? They're dates. Their dates and it ends with the phrase manageable but unsustainable. Huh. That's weird. I don't know what that means. Ooh, binoculars. 
Probably not going to see anything right now. It's dark. I'll look around. Nothing that way. Wait, was there something? I didn't see anything. Oh, there's a light over there. Whoa. Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Caitlin's spotting something up there, too. But you're right, it's probably nothing. Just ignore it. it it's nothing. Can I, can I look at the blackers again? Is there anything else to look at? I look at your girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> yeah. She's uh, kind of going skinny dipping. Probably shouldn't let her get cold out there. Just waiting and getting perky while uh, I wander around up here trying to find towels. Let's go. Gotta slowly walk down the stairs. Safety first. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... You, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find one. Okay. Don't kill the mood, asshole. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Shrinkage, oh, cold. shrinkage. Oh. Hurricane Jake. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey, quit it! Oh, stop! Being splish splash! Uh, uh, oh, I forgot. Sorry. I think your ex-boyfriend drowned. <laughs> dick move. Well, he's a dick. Okay, hey. Look. <clears throat> Check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your, like, um... Little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? <laughs> as long as he's number one. What? Jump back in there. Like a, like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What, what are you doing? Dude! 
after everything you did for that, Jacob, you're going to bail on her? Nothing short of a zombie apocalypse should stop you. What the hell are you doing? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. Yeah, they're both losers. Well, no, Nick's got the beast in him. Huh, if by beast, <laughs> you mean some sort of mild man on him. deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? What do you keep playing? Threesome? Yeah, just the three of us. Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, Who's got the shotgun? Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Caitlin's got the shotgun. Nick, what are you doing? Abby! Help! Please! Nick! She survived. Help him! Yay. I'm so stunned. What should I say? I think I'll be quiet and contemplative. What happened? Go after Nick! Go! I don't know. I'm kind of paralyzed with fear right now. I, what got her all bloody? Did Nick do this to you? Nick did this, didn't he? Ryan, go! That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. I guess I'm gonna go shoot things. Caitlin, you're the pro with the shotgun. Why aren't you going? I should have said something. I should have told her to go. Oh, great. Alright, no more hesitating. If it moves, shoot it. path. Take shortcut, follow path. What should I do? Tree! Oh. Oh. Mm, you know, not for nothing, but there's a flashlight on that shotgun. Never mind. Shortcut? I don't know where the hell I'm going! See anything to shoot. If there was something to shoot at, I would have, but I don't see anything. Oh, I should have shot. You don't look so good. 
Ken, come on, we gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, let's get back to the fire. Uh, I think my hesitancy got everyone not killed. Did you do this? Why? Fuck. Oh, Jesus. You set the car on fire for this. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Exactly. Sounds like a piggy. Sounds like a piggy getting mauled. Hello? Hello? Abby? Now he's dangling bait for the wind to go. How did you manage to do this to yourself? Let me down. Oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? I think he's cutting you down. God, son of a bitch. taking the other trap. I realize that I'm taking the wrong interrupt sometimes, and I think I got people not killed because of it. Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. It's not been long enough. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars... Stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? No. No? Okay. If that's what you want. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Man, I, I was, totally messed it, this up. It was... I, I, I don't even know what it was. It oh. was so fast, and, and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Mm. 
Okay. Nick's not looking so good. I didn't shoot him. Nick, hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Happy? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Bear, maybe. Jack, Jack, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. She's because slightly less mauled. Teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Yeah, yeah, it was a bear. Close Definitely a bear. Question. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Huh? What's well, weird? Ryan, we should amputate. <laughs> what? To cut it off before the infection spreads. You are so stupid! You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. He wasn't Proper bit by a zombie, to... dummy! And a shrink, too, probably. Use it! Sort of. Why the hell wasn't Caitlin holding this? Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Why isn't Caitlin holding the gun? She's obviously the better marksman. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! Don't taunt the Wendigo. Very brave. Again, Caitlin right. is the best marksman. So, uh, Why isn't she holding the shotgun? Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now. We've yeah. established that. Oh, it's a deer! It's coming right for us! You see that? I was in peril by that ferocious charging buck! Okay. Try to scare it off. Okay. You were saying. Shall we look? Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh, but what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? Leave him a note. Leave him a note. Let's leave a note. They'll catch up with us if they want to. Right now, we gotta make sure. I don't think I'm be being stupid okay. enough at this game. Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. Wheel peril? Eh, I guess that'd work. Alright, let's go. Whoops. <laughs> I, I, did I did I shoot Jacob? Where's Emma, by the way? Because Jake kind of bailed on her. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, 
Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. What kind of website do you have again? And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Now, I shouldn't complain, but maybe if you're going to take a video of yourself to put on your uh, social media sites, um, okay, you should put some clothes on. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. I guess I know how you all have that... Uh, loyal subscriber base. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> I guess she decided to wander around in her underwear and take videos of herself. What what kind of social media site do you have this loyal subscriber base for again? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please God, no. <laughs> Okay, we're going to just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it makes you think about what you're swimming in. I can't believe she's doing this right now. <laughs> and this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing right now. Girl, where are your pants? So this island is like an unexcavated Squirrel. part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? I beg your pardon. Shut up. Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? No. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road? literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Keep ranting, girlfriend. Keep ranting. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? And Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. What the hell are you talking about? 
You have the confidence to take a video of yourself in your underwear and post it on social media. That takes some confidence. Yeah, maybe that's my problem. I'm not recording these uh, gameplays in my underwear. I should start doing that. No! God, please, no! No! Not seeing anything of interest in here. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. I kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Ah, uh, forget about him. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. And we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Viva Viagra. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. I guess she's uh, like a complete exhibitionist. Doesn't mind walking around in her underwear. That's cool. It's cool. I'm cool with that. That's fine. You do you, girlfriend. Ooh, a campfire. It's still warm. Hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Quoth the raven nevermore. Huh. That's from the Harbinger Motel. Hmm. Heard that mentioned in the prologue, the Harbinger Motel. I think this is the closest civilization to here. And maybe the only significance to it. Where does that go? Seriously, where does that go? I think there's a walkway up there. Do I want to go up there? I kind of like to walk around the woods some more. I can't see where the heck I'm going. Eyes up. I don't see a darn thing out here. Looks like a dead end. I think I gotta go back to the high road. seen other paths. Alright, up then. I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. You don't have shoes. That would make the climb a little easier. Let's try that again. All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. 
Oh, somebody was in, in there. 1805 by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Do you hear that? Looks I heard like something. We have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Hmm. Uh. Oh, uh, I vote for death. Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Oops. Oh, that's more than a flesh wound. I think we lost one. Well, at least she died in her underwear. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. He looks a little better. I guess he cleaned the blood off. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. You want to eat flesh? Strength. I didn't pick it up. Oops. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yeah, totally. Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Again, Caitlin, shotgun expert. She should have the shotgun. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. With a shotgun? Does she? You should give her the uh, shotgun. I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Who knows his Where name? Where are you going? I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Because it was the wind. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Yeah, he's looking better. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, nine one one. Mr. H. The only nine I one one. Okay, then ninety one one. Thank you. Nine one one. Who says ninety one one? Losers like Dylan. Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for it? Like police, ambulance? Huh. Just tell them the situation, 
they'll tell you what they're going to send. It's that simple. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friend may have been attacked by a bear. Yes, or yes. Maybe not a bear, but... Guys, you don't need to rehearse this. Just dial 911. Sure there are out there right now. Get on with it. Uh, and Or how smart they are, so they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So. Yes, get on! Just like send a whole bunch of ambulances oh, God, just to be dude, sure. Just, just shut up. Just yeah, dial. yeah, that's that's good. Just... How difficult are you making okay. this to punch three numbers? Seriously. Oh my gosh. What's wrong? Dead. Why is it dead? Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though. Yeah, it's kind it's of inconvenient. A coincidence. Yeah, you try I, to yeah, hang up. Yeah, I'm sure it's what? coincidence. Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know. Definitely how do not you know a movie. that. Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Fair nothing. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. It's only temporary. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? <laughs> the, the clear weather. Is the bears. How can they cut to a cower, man? They're animals. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Then we shoot it. Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Did you just grab ammo? I think so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's doing yeah, his we whole thing. should probably leave thing. that with Caitlin. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, why don't you give her your gun? Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You man. don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. You don't know that. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> yeah, yeah, give her the gun. I've been uh, saying this all along. All right. Caitlin's the better shot than yeah. all of you assholes. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> oh, there she is. Am I interrupting something? I think we were talking about Ryan's dick. Want a shotgun? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Okay. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Terrible to see you. Oh, a time again, is it? 
Why do you come? Why do you come if you've not found my cards? I don't there know, because the devs the made cards. me. Truths that can only be revealed if you bring them to me. The truth that you're ugly? I don't need a tarot card to know that. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Me? I'm looking out for me? I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Bitch, you bailed on me! You ran away. What? Well, technically, she ran away from me. you, but whatever. And you ran away. You just left me there. Nick, I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I mean, I thought... What, you'd rather just save yourself, huh? I, no, no. I, I... You're making Abby uncomfortable. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. What the heck is that? Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Finally gave the gun to the marksman. I wonder what she can do with it. Something making that noise. What is it? Ah, shoot it. Say, but like, best marksman in the group. 
What? She got disarmed. Yes, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Ah, forget it. Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? You're a puzzle, Abby. You're hard to read. Wait, what? You're not even listening, are you? No, no, I'm... I, wow. Well, yeah. I think I was that boring. Gosh, you're hurt. I, I just want to make sure we're safe, okay? What is going now on? I made Abby feel guilty. I made her feel uncomfortable and guilty. We have died. We've Man, died. a thousand. I got this. What do you mean you got this? I thought you were injured. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. really big guy took it away. Oh uh, no, we should run away. <laughs> got you, girl. <laughs> that mole got whacked. What happened to your eyes? Wow. That's crazy. I think he's turning. Yeah, he doesn't seem so injured anymore. So, the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays, Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music, or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but. I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Is that a major? Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um, all right, I've been looking for a good stopping point, and I think I found it here. Uh, that's gonna be all for today. I think I can confirm... Emma is dead. I'm pretty sure that was Jacob that got accidentally shot. So, two people are dead. We're making progress. But I feel like, without even trying, I've gone right more than I've gone wrong. But, hopefully I can improve on things. And things will get even more nasty and bloody. Next time, when Amon chooses the quarry. Whack-a-mole! <laughs>